proceed until there is calm in the courtroom. If you cannot calm down, you will have to leave. Goes without saying, it was an incredibly emotional day in court for the family of a teen who was shot and killed inside of CHOP back in 2020. Cameras were rolling inside the courtroom and tensions were high. The family of Horace Anderson Jr., known to many as Lorenzo, well, that family is not happy with a plea deal. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Matthew Smith. And I'm Hannah Kim. It was chaos in the courtroom. A lot of anger over that plea deal that allowed the killer to receive a lighter sentence. Fox 13's Jennifer Dowling joining us now live. Jen, things got so heated. At one point, the defendant had to be removed from the courtroom. He did. That's Marcel Long, and he pleaded guilty back in May to second-degree murder. He was sentenced to 14 years behind bars today. However, the victim's family was not happy with that. They don't believe that their son received the justice that he deserved, and things in the courtroom got heated. Emotions ran so high during Marcel Long's sentencing hearing, it appeared at times proceedings might have to stop. The hearing began with Lorenzo's mom and dad sharing with the court the pain of enduring the loss of their son. He partners, y'all jump him and beat him up. He, 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 he doesn't stand a chance. You already beat him up. To take arms and gun him down? And you shoot him while he's underground? No excuse for it. Cowardly. It's not what, man, come on, man. I understand he's a kid. Man, my son was a kid too, though. But we'll never see him again. Why? Lorenzo's family also addressing Long directly during impact statements. I hate you for life. Look at you and everybody else I stand with you. I would have been there for you, Marcel. You understand me? Because you're a kid. I don't want you washed up. I mean, to take a life, that's all we baby. Ain't no coming back from that. At one point, Lorenzo's mom felt Long's supporters were being disrespectful to her son, so things got heated, during which Long was escorted out. After things calmed down, Long was brought back in and the judge sentenced him to 14 years, explaining that emotional maturity played a role in the decision. While Mr. Long was 18 at the time that this um, senseless tragedy occurred, he was more functionally more like an 11 to 14 year old child. A spokesperson for the prosecutor's office says it stands by the decision to move forward with a plea deal. If they're frustrated with us, we understand. But at the end of the day, this is a conviction for murder in the second degree, a class A felony. There's never a guarantee of what happens at a trial. Meantime, Lorenzo's family has filed wrongful death lawsuits against the city, which his mom acknowledged in court. I'm showing every body in this Family members say they've been struggling mentally and emotionally since Lorenzo's death, the sentence bringing little comfort after losing so much. My son was born at 24 weeks. He deserved to be here. He tried to run from this situation. They jumped him, they beat him, and then they shot him. And then your system left him for dead. And Lorenzo's father had filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the city on behalf of his son. That lawsuit alleging that city leaders undermined public safety by allowing protesters to take over the chop. That lawsuit was settled last June for $500,000. Reporting in Seattle, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News. Jennifer, thanks.